guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to choose your lip liner, how to line it and how you apply your lipstick. So there are little uh, tips and tricks that you can do to get a fuller pouty lip. So if you like to see how I create it, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you're applying a lipstick or matte lipstick, whatever lipstick it may be, is when you start your makeup, um, you know, the first step from your primer onwards, when you're doing that, apply a lip balm. Apply any sort of lip balm that you like. Um, just apply a nice layer of it on the lips and go on um, with your makeup and in the end when you're applying your lipstick we're going to take it off so what this does is keeps your lips nice and moist and then it removes any kind of cracks or dry skin they may be as well if you do have heavy dry lips then you can scrub your lips with some sugar and honey or you can get lip scrubs from the market just do that over the sink wipe it off and then put a lip balm on and then towards the end so if you're doing like a full phase whether it takes you half an hour 45 minutes to an hour it just softens the top layer of your lips and it's nice and plumpy so and then when you go on to wear your lipstick your lips are nice and perfect so that is what i always do i've applied a thin layer of lip balm and then i've done my full face and now i'm going to remove that and then move on to applying my lipstick you can use a tissue or cloth or a cotton bud Whatever you have handy, just use that to kind of remove everything. Okay, so the next step is choosing your lipstick and lip liner. No matter what color of lipstick you're going to use, the lip liner that you're going to choose should be one shade darker or two, one or two shades darker than the lipstick. And it should be obviously from the same family of color so your lipstick and your lip liner should be from the same color palette it should not be like one is brown and the others like purple you understand so i cannot use like a lip liner um, that is brown and then put like a purple lipstick in between like that's obviously gonna look odd the reason we use lip liner is to either help balance the lipstick like the color so you sometimes you know you have a lighter lipstick so you can go with a darker lip liner draw it fill it in and then when you wear your lipstick it kind of balances and brings it back to you know the color that you want to so the desired color and um, it helps your um, lipstick to like not bleed and then it stays in place if lip liners make your lipstick stay on longer and then you can like give your lips a good shape with the lip liner and that's why we use a lip liner so they should not be in two different families of color so just make sure that they belong to the same family and then you can choose whatever you like and then apply so um, yeah, and then another point to note is that your lips, everybody's lips, are in different sizes and different shapes. So if you see my lips, I have top thin lip. So I have my top lip, it's just a little thinner than my bottom lip comparatively. Um, and if I want my lips to look a little fuller, I need to make sure that my top lip is also extended a bit and you know so I can make it look thicker so in that case I'm gonna overdraw my top lip to balance it out with my bottom lip okay so just coming closer you can see how this part is thinner than my bottom lip so I'm going to extend that and then if you want to deepen your cupid's bow you can I don't like a very deep cupid's bow which is this part just want to follow my natural shape except I'm just going to extend it slightly. For the lip liner I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Black Tulip. Make sure your lip liner is nice and sharp and then I'm going to follow the bottom lip as it is and then extend the top. Thank you. 
and don't extend it too much otherwise it's gonna look like you've extended and overdrawn it should just be a slight little bit So I've drawn it and another thing I like to do is fill in my whole lips with a lip liner so that my lipstick stays longer and it just looks fuller and like complete and opaque. You can obviously go with the same lip liner and lipstick colour as well. Um, you can absolutely do that but if you want to kind of deepen your lipstick a little bit, then you can go with a darker lip liner to fill that in you can see it's looking a little bigger, my lips a little fuller and plumpier and then the lipstick I'm going to be using today is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mocha which is one of my all time favourites this is just my liquid lipstick and I'm just going to fill in my whole lips So that's my lipstick applied. You can see my lips are looking fuller, nice and plumpy, and it's looking opaque. So that is how um, easy it is to get your lips looking fuller, and that's the way you apply lipstick and lip liner. So if you have any questions, you can just ask me down below. And yeah, I hope you like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video.